Hey everyone, this is James from Brewing Books. So as you can see, I've decided to spare you my face today and dedicate this entire video to this, a newly published edition of The Lord of the Rings. Let's take a calm, collected approach and open this beauty of a book. As we can see, it comes in this nice little blue box with the famous Doors of Durin illustration. And as we open this up, we find the book itself packaged to reflect the original classic look of the first edition. So this is being advertised as a very special edition of J.R.R. Tolkien's masterpiece, first published in 1954. The Lord of the Rings has sold over 150 million copies since, and people around the world have enjoyed the rich fantasy world and epic adventure put on paper almost 70 years ago. And I wouldn't be surprised if the publishers have some new edition planned for 2024, in honor of this anniversary. But anyways, now we have this, just released last week by HarperCollins. This is actually what I'm calling the standard special edition, as there is a separate deluxe special edition uh, which has been published simultaneously. And another video review on that particular edition will be posted once I have received my own copy. So this release is the one volume hardback edition containing the complete text, including the appendices, which has been fully corrected and reset. Packaged to reflect the original classic look of the first edition. Readers of Tolkien will recognize the familiar motif of the Eye of Sauron, circled by the ring inscription and with a nice touch including Tolkien's signature down here. Uh, the usual gold motif on the inscriptions and designs is reflected here too, as with other Tolkien hardback editions. And behind the dust jacket we find a circular cutout that allows a view to Sauron's eye on this gorgeous gorgeous plain hardcover. I mean, really, just holding this book in my hands is giving me chills right now, to be honest. So once we open up this book, uh, as with the majority of Tolkien books, there are also two fold-out maps of Middle-earth, drawn by Christopher Tolkien, with this uh, different feature which allows one to remove the maps and admire them with as much intricacy and wonder as they rightfully deserve. In this case, we have the overall map of Middle-earth, and at the back, we have a closer look at the areas of Rohan, Gondor, and Mordor. Uh, the end sheets are covered in this delightful maroon color, and inside, you will notice that the text has been printed on two colors, red and black, as per the original publication. Together with this, what makes this particular edition unique is the inclusion, for the first time, of 30 illustrations, maps and sketches, all drawn by Tolkien himself. Reproduced in high quality colour, I must say, having this additional touch from the author himself complements the epic work and text with equal gravitas. An added feature which is of interest is this delightful ring inscription design cleverly printed along the entire thickness of the book pages. And of course we have our very own silk ribbon marker. As I said, this is the first of two new editions of The Lord of the Rings. The other, much more costly edition is being advertised as a unique edition in itself, promising the usual never-before-seen features, but all about that in another video. I think this is a wonderful edition and a truly remarkable work done by HarperCollins that justifies the book itself. However, given the plethora of other editions available, together with the newest deluxe edition also released on the market, I wonder whether this particular edition was really necessary after all. 
However, then again, if you've been wanting a single volume hardback edition of The Lord of the Rings and are not too keen on spending a ridiculous amount of money on the deluxe edition, this will set you back a few pounds, but is, wait for it, definitely the one Lord of the Rings book to rule them all. And that's the end of this video. Thank you all of you amazing people out there who keep on liking, commenting and subscribing to this channel. You're all awesome and wonderful. And that's all for today. I hope to see you next time. Cheers.